is uh, Iwobi. Another nephew, nephew of JJ Akocha. Now Akpom. Stuart Atwell tells Glenn Kamara to get up, and Chelsea will try and get on with it. Here is Jordan Houghton. And look at the space here for Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Can he pick the right pass? Solanke's there, De Silva's there. And here he is now, Jay De Silva. Olerena goes for goal. That's a shot on target. First uh, thing to do for Josh Vick. Long coat there that we all love so much, and Jack Welsh in front of him. Yeah, and Jerry Payton, the old goalkeeper, was uh, alongside uh, Arsene Wenger there. I don't know if he's still at Arsenal doing a bit of coaching. I know he was at one stage. Jack Welsh are part of the last Arsenal team to win this five years ago. The boss, Carl Larriman, has been here nine years, in which time, of course, the first team haven't won any trophies. Here's Kiwomia. It's a Solanke. Lays it off for Houghton. Houghton, second time over. Slightly surprised the centre forward played it back to the central midfielder. Well, um, centre back had committed a bit. He would have had a, a point shot, left boot. But, uh, what do I know? He's got 18 goals this season. <laughs> so he's scored in every round of this competition. He knows what to do. And he might be in again here. There's no flag on Solanke. He's got it on his left boot and his right. Solanke! Oh, denied brilliantly by Vickers. Solanke again. The pass was on to Kiwomia. Chelsea banging hard at the door, but it hasn't opened just yet. Well, you talk about honesty amongst players. I mean, Dominic Solanke does great here, but for me, he could go down. That's what matters most. comes from Jeb, it looks deep, deep enough to get all the way around the back where Pagasuela is. Olain has got to be deep. Always offering himself Charlie Colkett at that, uh, that jogging pace that Tony referred to earlier. <laughs> De Silva, fantastic little man, go on. Still going, uh, he's uh, considerably smaller than Tafari Moore, but he did well there. Now Colkett wants it back. Oh, he's still got there, Charlie Colkett! It's in! That'll do! Dom Solanke tried to pinch it on the line, it doesn't matter. It's in off Vickers. I think it'll count as an own goal. Chelsea won't care. There's the two-goal cushion in this semi-final tie. Well, first of all, it was a great one, two on the edge of the box. Charlie Colkett makes his way into the, to the uh, box, box there, and the angle was fully, fully against him, but he drove it at the near stick. Vickers, who's made two great saves already, the ball gets kept on there, and then it gets kept in play. Here, we get knee kick back. Charlie plays a great little one to with Jordan out there. Gets the ball's first touch, he's good. The angle's totally against him, but the goalkeeper has a shocker. He's made two great saves. It's inside of his leg and goes over that line. Great start for the boys. How is Charlie Cockett, if you're an Arsenal uh, fan, seeing him go through those two? That's pathetic. Well, the big centre half Seaman there should really do better. I mean, he's got him there. He's just a very tight angle and doesn't favour Charlie at any stage. He's very weak in his challenge, and uh, as I said, it's a good strike across, but the keeper is, is always. A, a nervous time where you've just actually scored believe it or not because people tend to relax and take their mind off the game which they shouldn't do so Aidy's doing his job he's just keeping on you saw Jose Fernandez last week Jose, Fernandez. Jose Marino last week go down the line when uh, when um, we scored against the PSG and then uh, you've got to keep your boys alert I, I, I work with Jose Fernandez and I keep getting his, mind, his name wrong so uh, never mind the old boy's gone that night I have to say, Ben, you know when you're the coach in these boys that, that not all of them are going to make careers at this specific football club. You know, it, it's, a, it's a very difficult to make a living at Chelsea or Arsenal, but uh, what you hope is the boys go on and, and make a living at the game. And if you look at Matt Emmanuel Thomas, he's playing well at uh, Bristol City, and there's a lot of the boys, as you say, earning decent livings, and that's what you want as a coach. All over the top for Maitland-Niles. <laughs> Kept it alive here, but that's comfortable for Beanie. Yeah, again, it's a, it's a long ball played over there. Oh, and they will believe again. And that's what AD will be aware of. I mean, he'll still be barking his orders, uh, you know, on the sideline. They're making sure the boys are, are very vigilant in their tracking and uh, not giving, uh, not allowing Arsenal to come on to us as we've done a couple of times in this first half. But uh, they've been good so far. Nice little touch from Akpop. So Lallan's in here. Oh, oh Olerena clears it. He shouldn't have been given the chance to. What a waste. Well, first of all, it's fantastic fight. Contagious. Ball up the line from Brandon on the bottom, and it's a dangerous one. In fact, Darbo dealt with it really well. 
That is great pace, isn't it? All over the top. You want your defenders to get there. Come on, Alex, you've got to get hold of that because the boy they're just trying to come at us a little bit after that last chance. Whilst they missed it, has given them a little bit of confidence. Loft his cheek. And a very composed head to just play that tidy little ball to Olorena. And Chelsea can break again here, maybe. Solanke. Just thought he'd allowed Seaman in for a moment, but he didn't. It's Olorena. There's that battle we're talking about with those two, and it's done well. Good oh. cross, wonderful chance, John Houghton knows it. He's what? made a great break from the middle of the park to get there. Trey De Silva, Olorena, Jordan Houghton, they're all comfortable on the ball, they all want it. They don't mind where or when or how tight. The word elegance springs to mind when I see Ruben on the ball. He absolutely strolls through the game. I mean, he's got such great posture and uh, he looks so comfortable. is again he's always reminded me a bit of Michael Ballack yes yeah Do you know what I, mean? I would totally see that yeah I mean Michael strolled through the game and uh, looked at looked at, uh, at sort of ease cruised with everything around did. the yeah. middle of the park yeah, no, never really breaking a sweat totally see, see that absolutely yeah let's hope he's as good as Michael Ballack that would do us a lot of good it's oh, Charlie Colkett onto Solanke he's got it on his right boot oh. That's a bit like the one last week, isn't it? He put one over the bar from a very similar position. Wright has been outstanding. I mean, Charlie's been on the ball. Oller's it a couple. Um, Clark Salter's it a couple with his left foot. I mean, it's been absolutely top draw to watch. Silva's pitched it off Zalalem. Can't be long left of this oh. first half, but Alex Kiwami could seal it here. The angle was always against him, to be fair. The pass pushed him wide. Yeah, it did, but first of all, Jay's done magnificent here to Once knocked clean out by Eddie by Rashida in a match, Andy Townsend. Yes, he was a very committed centre-half, our AD. As he said, no call to ask, no call to give her. There's Olorena, there's dancing feet again. Darbo. Opening five minutes, Ben. Chelsea controlling the tempo of the game. I mean, probing, passing the ball around at will. And, uh, you know, looking very comfortable with this, with this league. Christensen, look at how elegant that is. That's absolutely fantastic. It's just strolled out from centre-half. And oh. goes for goal! If he'd scored that, goodness me, what a goal it would have been. Plenty of talking going on. Two centre-halves are up, Akpom loitering by the penalty spot. And it comes from Jeb. Good delivery. And that's a nice little dummy from Kamara. And a really important block from Jordan Houghton. That looked like it might have been heading for the bottom corner. And there could be a break on here for Kiwamia. Off he goes. Good recovery challenge from Ormond Dottawa. Coming off. That could be a straight swap. It could mean a reshuffle. Isaac is a very versatile player. I've seen him in central midfield at either fullback position. Looks like he's straight in at right back. Kuwam is lost out, but it might not matter. This is Solanke. Really strong. Colkett goes for goal. Deflection. Could have taken that in quite easily. As soon as Dominic rolls him that ball, you're just praying he's going to strike it with that wand of a left foot. He gets great contact on this. To be fair, the defender, Seaman, gets across, deflects it wide and does his job. But uh, great to see this young man sizing it up on the edge of the box. Here comes his corner. And the header is in the middle there. Yes, it is. Arsenal yeah. legend. And, yes. uh, and lofty from EastEnders. Tom Watt. Here goes Dom Solanke. Anyway, oh. oh, it's away from the judge. And he goes for goal. Good save from Josh Vickers. Well, unbelievable run for Dominic Solanke there. I mean, he just drives again. I love it when these players keep driving. Look at well, look where he gets it. Wide on the right-hand side. He's driving at defenders, committing them, making them. That's a rash challenge from the Spanish centre-half there. That's going into the corner net. Again, Vickers comes to Arsenal's rescue. So, and Cambo forward. Jordan Houghton now. Jacob Silva's done well to win that header at all. It's probably not about the amount to match. Oh. Well, it might do after a terrible error from Seaman. Here is De Silva. And now, Charlie Colkett. Oh, Charlie. oh dear. 
Well, again, Jade De Silva does fantastic. I've got a leg, but uh, as I said, these guys, as it goes on, it's a big pitch out there today, and uh, they will be feeling tired. Here's Olerena. One now would seal it for Chelsea, and they might go all the way. Sometimes... Uh, to play their normal game, and uh, at the moment, very comfortable. Oh, go on. And the header is brilliantly oh, saved. Isaac Seven Cambo thought he'd sealed the deal there. What a stop from Josh Vickers. Well, he has kept the single handedly in this time. I'm talking about Stanford Bridge and at the Emirates. This is one hell of an header. I mean, it's going top corner, and that's a fantastic save. Tip Wanted it back and would have got it back, but for another really good oh, challenge really. from Loftus Cheek. The captain's been exemplary, and what a ball that was from Kiwomia to Brown. Loftus Cheek has had one heck of a second half here. Well, I think he's been excellent over the two games, Ben. I just think he's, he's just oozed quality on the ball. He doesn't seem to panic, as I said, he's very elegant, but uh, and nine times out of ten picks the right ball. You know what he, he's looked like? He's looked like a player who's five or six years older than the rest. Yeah. And here he goes again. Has he got a goal on the end of it? That's one thing he doesn't do a lot of. Oh. Would have been nice, wouldn't it, right on Kiwi before uh, Solanke to... Down and uh, a couple of subs, but... Come on, Stuart Atmon. Ball in from Izzy Brown. Reese Mitchell got too far underneath it. Just seconds away now. Let's have another look at the watch. Job done yet again. Chelsea's relentless pursuit of silverware continues. Congratulations to all of them. Everyone at the Academy, Tommy. A third Youth Cup final in a row and a fifth Youth Cup final in seven years. It's astonishing. It's fantastic. And as I said, uh, congratulations to Aidy and his team, to uh, everybody associated with it. Neil Barth and Jimmy Fraser from recruitment. Been tremendous. I mean, individually, fantastic. Team-wise, magnificent. Their work ethic was tremendous in both legs. Uh, and as I said, it's, it's, it's great to see, as a Chelsea supporter, an ex-Chelsea player, these boys coming through the system. Congratulations. The Blues are producing quality young players that just keep on doing it and the neighbours await in the final. The Youth Cup will be won and lost in SW6. 1-0 on the night, 3-1 on aggregate. Four words we're getting used to saying these days. Chelsea have beaten Arsenal. <laughs> and the young boys are through to their fourth final in five.